Hello everyone and welcome to Bitcoin, the crypto analysis channel that will help you make better decisions regarding your cryptocurrency investments. Today we will talk about Cyber Miles. This coin has been going up a lot this week even with Bitcoin going coming down a little bit, coming below $9,000. But as you can see today, they have gone up to 33 cents. So let's let's get started. First of all, small disclaimer, this is not financial advice. You should always do your own research before investing and you should only invest what you're willing to lose. So now we now that we got done with this, let's move into Cyber Miles and what it is. So as you can see here, it's a smart contract solution for e-commerce. But what does this mean? What is Cyber Miles? So the team, the main idea of the team is to decentralize the online marketplace. So nowadays we have Amazon, Alibaba, eBay, and even smaller marketplaces. What they want to do is the decentralization of this, these businesses, mainly to protect the data, your data, the customer's data. So the own Cyber Miles team recognize that they're, they're very similar to Ethereum in the sense that there is more, they are a smart contract solution. But what they do is that they're specifically focused for e-commerce, while Ethereum is just a smart contract solution for anything. It's, very, it's a very broad idea. And something else that they, they're trying to make a difference that other businesses can join in to, into Cyber Miles, the Cyber Miles blockchain, and not, not just have their own business. So let's look into the pros a little bit. So moving on to the pros, the first one we can think here, uh, big e-commerce companies like, again, Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, if in the future Cyber Miles is very well established, is working really well, they can decide to join the Cyber Mile blockchain and that would just make it huge because I, I believe Amazon is about to hit the $1 trillion mark and they're just right behind Apple. So imagine all that, all that volume of money moving into the Cyber Miles blockchain. Secondly, the main difference is that Cyber Miles, for developers using Cyber Miles can create smart, um, smart contracts using different programming languages. As if you compare, for example, with Ethereum, you can only create a smart contract with their own programming languages so here if you know already they have a list I think of th three or four that I haven't listed but if you search online it you can find it easily and it's in their white paper and this is just makes it easier for people that know different programming languages to create smart contracts and help the blockchain develop thirdly they have more transactions per second TPS than the Ethereum platform and other infrastructure tokens so what they have let me go back here to their white paper because here they talk about uh, sorry because here they talk about how they plan on making 10,000 transactions per second so I said they have more they said that the, their test net which is active right now has reached up to 10,000 transactions per second making it one of the leading uh, engineering solutions. This is their uh, technical white paper. They have two white papers. This is just the more, more business white paper, and this is the technical white paper. And here they're saying that they're going to use the Tendermint blockchain implementation based on delegated proof of stake. So here, delegated proof of stake consensus. And it is endorsed by Ethereum, even Ethereum is thinking of uh, applying it to their own blockchain because of their scalability problems. So this is what they say when they, they, they say that they have more transactions per second than other infrastructure blockchains out there is that they, they tested it and it reached up to 10,000 using this Tendermint implementa implementation. So going back to the pros, maybe presentation. 
The next one is that they already have a fairly big marketplace. All right, let me go back. What do I mean by that? The company was created actually three or four years ago by the CEO. Let's check here his name here. He, he was an astrophysicist at CERN, the European entity. So here, particle physics, blah, blah, blah. And then he founded five miles in 2014 so what is five miles five miles is pretty much just another marketplace but they try to focus on just having people selling to each other almost like ebay but having focus on good reviews insight insightful reviews and and the security of the client's data and everyone's data so what they're going to do once the cyber miles this is their website. So once the Cyber Miles blockchain is fi finalized, they will move the Five Miles marketplace to the Cyber Miles blockchain and start using that to protect even more the client's data. And just from researching online, right now they have between 10 to 12 million clients using this website actively. So I mean, you cannot compare Amazon with this website yet, but they are well established in the business for a, a business that started three years ago. Those are pretty good numbers. So moving on to the cons, what, what are the cons for this blockchain? So the e-commerce platforms, so Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, they could build their own e-commerce blockchain or whatever on other high-end uh, cryptocurrency or just crypto protocols. They don't have to use cyber miles. And linked to the second con is that those big companies, what is the incentive for them to move to the cyber miles? What is the incentive for them to move to the cyber miles blockchain? Why shouldn't they just create their own that's even better and work on the problems that the cyber miles blockchain might have in the future? and just keep being on top so that's something just to to worry because if those big companies just decide each to create their own blockchain then cyber miles could potentially be out of business within a few years or as i as i was doing my research i was reading that because for the cyber miles blockchain a lot of people can join in other businesses can join in maybe the sum of all small businesses can do better than just Amazon. So if all small businesses got together and actually joined in on Cyber Miles, they could maybe be more they could be more powerful than Amazon, Alibaba, eBay. But those are just speculative numbers. So this was my review of Cyber Miles. I don't know if you like it. Let me know in the comments if you have any other cons, pros, if you agree or don't agree. What are the coins you want to see me do a review on? And hit the like, the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.